Thank you for visiting this Elish Norn game. I'm your host, Plastic Cactus, and today we're playing EMC Ren and his commander, Nothing. Oh, just kidding, it's Rafik of the many. Me and my Elish Norn have a little thing to say about that. So we are king of the four drops, but Micaeus is a fine early early drop. I'd play that for one. And day of the week, so we are not going to mulligan. No, we are not. The vivid grey that is a good mana fixer. At least temporarily so in the beginning of the game. Souls to plowshells, is it? Well, I don't have a problem with this card. It should help me out should things get a bit sticky. And you know how things like to get sticky when Rafik of the many is in town. Oh, another four drop. Splendid, splendid, just as I wanted. Uh, oh, we're going to get Micaeus out. There's really not a reason to not play Micaeus. So we'll play Micaeus. You, me, and Micaeus. That's a sitcom in the making right there. You, me, and Micaeus. Motherfucker loves his candles. That, he's like, oh, come on, dude. Come into my basement. Look at all my candles. I've got red candles and blue candles and long candles and short candles. I even got them Jesus candles. But I'm from Innistrad, so I don't know what a Jesus is. Yeah, that's Micaeus and his love of candles. So, I'm hoping we get that fourth mana when it matters, if not this turn. Hey, it was this turn. And we're not going to attack with Micaeus, we're just going to pump it up. P -p 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 pump it up on his turn. Maybe he plays something that requires Linvala. Maybe he doesn't, and then I can do a Myriad Angel. Ooh, you can't bend no life or sacrifice no creatures. Rafik the many. Correct. You will be hitting me for six. Now, I could have Swords of Plowshares that. I probably should have because of the Lightning Greaves. But I think I'll be okay. Getting hit for eight once. Let's put a counter on that. And we will... Windborne Muse... Oh, also took it. Now, if he wants to come in, I'm going to have to throw Micaeus away this time. But this should at least annoy him a little bit. Thankfully, the Mirror Angel will come out, and yeah, he is going to. But, uh-oh. But uh, I am going to at least be able to make my Windborn Muse a 3-4 before his death. Yeah, I'm not so sure Swords of Plowshares would have been right. Because uh, he would have just replayed it and give him, you know, haste again. And so we would have been in the exact same spot. At least this way I got a plus one, plus one counter out of my Micaeus the Lunark. But the candles! I know, Micaeus, I'm sorry. I know you love your candles. So first we play Emiria. And then we play a little thing to get thrown away. Hee-hee! I'm a birdie! And then we go in with the Windborn Muse, hit him for three. You are one freaky lady. Why don't you get some pupils for Christmas, huh? Right into Santa Claus. You've been a good girl this year. Ask for pupils, because otherwise you belong in some sort of hell dimension, you disgusting lady. Angel indeed. Oh wait, you aren't an angel. You're a spirit. Never mind. It's fine. All spirits don't have pupils in their eyes. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Sure I am. Uh-oh. Okay. So be it. At least I have one little bird to throw away. One little bird nerd to throw away. So what's the next turn, I guess? It's it's probably just Angel of Jubilation, huh? Oh. You gotta pay your toll. You gotta pay your toll. 
You go ahead and pay your toll. I will send my bird in front of you. And not even care. Not even care. This bird, so dead. Don't even care. I hated that bird. It was a stupid bird. Can we take care of those lightning greaves? That would be nice. Hunting wilds. Put some fucking things on the battlefield. Uh, I guess he didn't have the room for the kicker. So he's just putting a couple forests in there. I knew you would. You love putting the forests into play. That's fine. I don't even care. Let's do the cavern of souls. Make some angels. Linvala loves to come down. No, we're not going to do Linvala because we don't want to throw Linvala away. But we will throw Angel of Jubilation away. We don't want to, but we will. Okie dokie. Ugh, I need to start drawing some stuff. I mean, Elish Norn, right? Elish Norn's a, a good deal, because then this becomes a 1-1 one, one with uh, Double Strike, and my Windborn Muse can eat that for breakfast. Or, hell, my Elish Norn can eat that for breakfast. So I think we might stabilize next turn. Oh, in fact, do I even just get hit again? I feel like this could be the end of me. But I think I'm going to let it hit me. Oh, this could be such a horrible idea. But we're going to risk it. You know, we need to make some big plays here. Or we're just or we're going to die anyway. So let's hope he doesn't have a thing. He doesn't, or he would have done it. And now I can... I've been hit for, for 12. No, I've been hit for uh, 16. Yeah, 16 total damage by Rafik. I can never get hit by Rafik again. But I think... I won't. I think Elish Norn's gonna make it okay. And it's, it's hilarious that he's been doing this whole Rafik and Lightning Greaves play. Oh, well, you know, Swift of Boots, same thing, buddy. Well, 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 well. That's pretty sweet. But I still think it is Elish Norn first. Pretty sure it is. I am not attacking with both. He might have a single target removal. So I'm just going to attack with the Windborn Muse, and that's it. Yes, that's, that's the safe play. It's the play I have to do. Just attack with the Windborn Muse. Done. Dunzos. Mmm, very tricky though. Very tricky. A E M C Ren. Very tricky indeed. Return to Dust is gonna be good against those boots and the greaves, which are also boots, so whatever. Double boots. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Me looking at a board wipe. Oh, a board wipe, and you're gonna replay Rafik. But not this turn. Yeah. You can't play Rafik, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five. No, you cannot. So we are actually in good shape. We can return to dust on our turn. And we can silver play Paladin. We will do this and this. Not today. So now when you play Rafik, my silver blade Paladin is okay for a little while. Kind of lucked out there, though. Kind of lucked out. Get out of here, my exiled card. Wrath of God. Ha! You know what? You go right ahead and hit me with the Stirring Wildwood if you want to. Even if it is for eight. I think he can. No, he can't. He's j He cannot! He is one short from Stirring Wildwooding me. Poopty doopty pants, my name is Rafik. Uh, Solitary Visionary isn't gonna do anything. 
Mm, hey, you know what? If we have cavernous souls, we're gonna fucking use it. Uh, Linvala, Keeper of Silence, we will make it double striking. Indeed we would. Yes, but we are actually just going to source the plowshares, that thing. Because I don't feel like losing them both? Or could I lose them both? I don't think I... If I double blocked, I guess I don't lose them both. I only lose one. That might be worth it. We'll see what he does. We will see what he does. But I'm not too... And you know, he's he was hurt on blue there. He had to use his last blue for the Vivid Grove. And then he got another Vivid Grove, but... Huh. Decisions, decisions. You don't have any activated abilities. You and your lion. Someone told me the lion's name once. I don't remember it. And pff, that's fine. Hey, my life is pretty good, yeah. Ooh. This isn't good against her feet, because if her feet gets me one more time, I'm dead. But that's still cool. We will do it. We will freaking do it. Well, if he didn't want to run into these two guys last time, he might not want to do it again. So I'm going to just sit back and do nothing. If he had another board wipe again, I'd be a little sad. I think he probably does. I mean, five cards in his hands, nothing else going on. What else can he do? Hee hee hee, Michiko. I have a fan. And a knife. No, that's not a knife. That's something. Uh-oh, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, if it's the first combat step, oh no, then I'll tap the creature and let it go. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So he's going full uh, Exalted over here. He's going all in with Exalted. I do double block here. And I don't because he doesn't give me the opportunity. Oh, why, uh, yes. Sarah is sandant. Hello again. I am going to use that Cavern of Souls. Yeah. Oh, nope. You're not an angel. You should be an angel. How, how are you not a freaking angel? You're just a... I guess it makes sense uh, lore-wise, right? He's just a regular dude, and then he ascends. But he ascends to Angel 4. Come on, Sarah. That's, those are the angels. Whatever. I know you're a 1-1, one -one, but maybe, just maybe, you'll become a 6-6. Six -six. Just maybe. Uh, do I guess I put in the Solitary Visionary as well, because we can kill that Finest Hour if he doesn't have a board wipe. So, yeah, that's what's up. He, he's got to have a board wipe, man. He's got to. Ugh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt if he does. It's going to hurt so bad. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Cool. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, well, we attack with the Soltari Visionary and the Sarah Ascendant. And we destroy Finest Hour. Indeed we do. Yes. And we drop Gideon. And we make him attack into Gideon. Yeah, I think that's right. And uh, if he does attack into Gideon, we, we do have to, you know, put something in its way. I think Michiko at this point. I think we just throw Michiko away, but then we use Gideon to kill Rafik next turn. And then it's clear sailing from here on end. Keeping... Well, I don't think we have to keep anything back as long as we keep the mana up. Rot rose, rot rose, rot rose. So that's it for blue. Yeah, damn dog, damn, da damn, damn, board wipe. But now we can't play Rafik, oh no. You can't play Rafik, you can't play Rafik, no we can't. 
play Rafiko. No, we gotta get some cards. We gotta get some cards. We gotta get some cards. Or we're just gonna die. We gotta get some cards. We gotta get some cards. We gotta get some cards. Or we're gonna try, cry, 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 cry. Um, I'm not too worried about that right now. In fact, we're just gonna run in with our 6-6 six, six and probably sort to plowshares that thing. We'll wait right before it's combat phase, see what he plays. And if it's nothing really uh, important, we will sort to plowshares it before it becomes an 8-8, right before. Maybe he'll try to buff it up or something. Salam Samalekrum. Salam Samalekrum. Simalekrum. Oh, yeah, all of you sillies out there in internet land who think I say this name wrong, you are in fact wrong. Simalekrum is a real word. Uh, and it is, uh, you can look that up in the dictionary. It's from the Asimovian science fiction. It really is not something magic made up. And simulacrum is the way you say it, just like that. Oh, I was talking about simulacrum. Oh no, I did it right. I did it right. It's still only—he's only gonna get four life. Cool, 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 cool. Excellent, just as I hoped. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I guess it's Elish Norn time. It certainly is. Uh, this and this. Elish Norn coming on down, sending in Gideon, where it's warm and brown. That's gross, and I'm sorry. Eight damage coming your way. I hope it's cool. I hope it's okay. He's still got four cards in his hand. That's worrisome. Uh, and he did get his island, so I imagine Rafik is coming down next turn. As a 1-1, one, one, perhaps, but it's still coming down next turn. Really gotta start drawing some good stuff. Not that Gideon isn't good stuff, but I gotta get some good stuff. Uh-oh. Elish Norn removal? Oh, it's Elish Norn removal, isn't it? What are you? What are you? The Crows and Verge. Uh, okay, that's fine. Privilege position. That's a, that's a little bit of a humdinger right there. But, you know, it doesn't uh, stop me from getting in your face. No, it does not. Ah, uh, Metamai the Ageless. Just a 2-2. Two -two. So I have to plus 2 Gideon. Can't let him get a second turn. That would be nasty. So, here you go. And... Here's a Mentor of the Meek. Just a little 4-4 four -four saying hello. And Elish Norn is going to slap you in the face. 4-4. Four, four. Now, granted, Gideon will never be able to do his minus 2 again until we take care of privileged position. If we ever take care of privileged position. But, uh, you know, the plus 2 is still pretty good. It certainly keeps Rafik off my face, which is, you know, pretty nice. And it... Gets rid of a few of his blockers. Metamai is not going to be hang out, hanging out and blocking next turn. Hey, you know what doesn't go well with Elish Norn, though? I'll give you a hint. It's Mentor of the Meek. Mentor of the Meek, not the best pair with Elish Norn. I'm still nervous about this game. I don't necessarily, even though I have pretty good board position, I don't think it's a slam dunk. Not at all. I mean, there's some nasty business going on, and my opponent does have three cards, and I have zero. And I don't have a whole lot of card draw. My real big card draw right here isn't gonna work, because Elish Norn. Uh, now, Metamai is actually gonna end up hitting Gideon for six, but it's still... You have to hit Gideon. You have to hit Gideon. It's still better than him getting another attack, though. Yep, yep, yep. I just have to... And, like, you know, I'll do it again, and then Gideon will probably die if I don't draw some good stuff. But, uh, it's, again, it's something that needed to happen. Six. Owie. 
You know what? He won't die if I do it again, because he won't be able to get exalted on. They'll both have to attack, unless he lets Rafik die right now. Uh-oh. Nope, just the verge. Just on the verge of a good move, but not quite yet. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how freaky Metamai was. That is like old school Sphinx. Old dirty hobo man. Like, I live in New York City. I feel like I can go outside and see ten of these Metamai faces. That is really gross. Super gross. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. So, if he throws Rafik away, he does get to a kill Gideon on his next turn. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. Uh, there's also no reason for me not to pristine talisman now. Okay, alright, alright. So now he has to go in with both. And Gideon doesn't die. Unless he's got some kind of stupid get rid of Gideon move, in which case I'm just dead, I think. Gideon and Elish Norn would be just the worst. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, no, he didn't have it. I won. I squeaked out a victory against EMC Ren. But that was a very nerve-wracking game, I'll be honest. It was not a slam dunk. But he still won anyway. So, uh, hey, hey, here's a pretty good idea, actually. I was thinking, uh, maybe you and I can meet in, like, five minutes and play another game, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's do that! Yelish non calls for the rallyo. Yelish non prime for the tally ho. She has come to see if this land, Yelish and Dale, can in hand.